This is strictly to thank the city of Cleveland for embracing my family and me. I have no clue what happens next, which is the meaning behind the silence I have had during the duration of this process. I've given the franchise everything I have. That is something I've always done at every stage and at every level, and that will not change wherever I take my next snap. NFL senior insider Dan Graziano joins us now. Graz, what's going on with the Browns at quarterback? Well, they're looking for an upgrade. And for, for a couple weeks now, the Browns have been kind of talking to people about, well, if we brought in another quarterback, what do we do with Baker Mayfield? You know, asking teams, would you be interested if we did this? Uh, so it, it's been in conversation for a while. And, and let's be clear, they could still end up with Baker Mayfield as their quarterback this year. But a, as the days go along here, that looks less and less likely because it seems like they're trying hard to get Deshaun Watson. If they don't, they might explore other options. And obviously, Baker Mayfield is feeling it. He said it's not a message with hidden meaning. I think it's a message with pretty clear and obvious meaning, uh, which is that he's upset and, uh, and he, you know, he wants to let it be known that it's not him that wants out. You know, it's interesting um, because Teddy with Baker, and Baker's not the greatest quarterback in the world, but I think he's pretty good. I think he's actually become a little underrated. With Baker, they've competed and beaten Pittsburgh for the division. They've beaten them in the playoffs. They've competed with the Ravens in big regular season games where it came down to the wire. They competed with the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game with Baker Mayfield. What do you make of this message from Baker, Teddy? I think Baker has gotten used to being you know, the number one overall pick on the commercials, sort of being the man there in Cleveland. And I think it's really affected him emotionally in a way. This is a guy that's talked about playing with his emotions on his sleeve. He's an emotional player. And that's why I like even watching him play. He gets fired up and he, he feels like it's him against the entire world. And that's when he's best. So this is what I, I don't understand. I mean, when I don't even think, is Deshaun Watson a front runner or is this just a reaction of the news of the interview with Deshaun Watson? He has got to come back to earth and realize that, I mean, he's replaceable like everyone else on the team, like the linebackers, like the kickers and the offensive linemen. Go on back into that, that mode that you had in college where you, had, you were the walk-on or you had a transfer and you ended up winning the Heisman Trophy and becoming the number one overall pick. Embrace that attitude, not the attitude that you're the franchise quarterback because he's just not going to be looked in that light. He's going to be looked as a piece on the team. That's, some, I think, some good advice. Mike, the funny thing is, if his job depended on it, if he was the, if Baker's paycheck depended on putting together the best team, he'd go after Deshaun Watson, too. Deshaun Watson's better than he is, and Baker's pretty good. Deshaun Watson's really, really good. You're the GM in Cleveland. What do you do now? Well, we're moving on from Baker Mayfield, and here's why. Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski are really smart guys, very thoughtful. When they made this move, they knew for sure that Baker Mayfield's going to react this way. So even if they're stuck with him for this year, I think his days in Cleveland are over. It's not a matter of if, but when. And if I'm them, I'm going to try to get somebody else maybe a little bit more cost-effective. Maybe it's a guy like Jameis Winston on a one-year deal. Maybe they try to trade for Jimmy G. And then I would move on from Baker Mayfield because maybe what he did a couple years ago to me, Max, that's ancient history. At best, he's the third-best quarterback in the AFC North. And we don't know how good Mitch Trubisky is going to be under Mike Tomlin. So to me, Baker Mayfield puts a ceiling on the Cleveland Browns. Graz. Let's say he does, they do move on from mm -hmm. Baker. It's just irreconcilable, right? Whether or not they get Deshaun. Where, does the, where do you think the best fit is for Baker? I could see him in Seattle. Uh, they need somebody to kind of be a bridge if they're planning on drafting somebody next year. You know, right now it's Drew Locke, and, and that doesn't necessarily uh, excite them. I could also see him in Indianapolis, who has a, a ready made roster that needs a quarterback. And, you know, they, they change every single year. One of these years they're hoping to get it right. So those are two spots I would watch for Baker. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.